Plug it in and get ready to rock. Sit your ass down with the hands of the clock. We're in a gay pineapple, so sublime. Like, comment, subscribe. It's Hello and welcome back to Pineapple Plus, the show where I play the month's PlayStation Plus games. I have just finished playing The Swindly, uh, which is good. Uh, and I shall now be looking at this war of mine, The Little Ones. Which, you know, looks really sad because it's about war and children. What does it sound more fun in a game? I don't know. Day one. Got some uh, sounds like the Last of Us music. Hmm. Is this stealthy also? This is oddly reminiscent of the Swindley. Is this like the Swindle? Is this a stealthy game getting through rooms in a house? That'd be weird to put two very different concepts of a game with <laughs> rather similar gameplay at the same time. Oh, there you go. I'm that one. So what, what do I do? I like it's not cold in here. This is a oh, this is like a survival. This is our house, and we have to stop dying from the war. Is that what's gonna be going on? Hey, champ, can we talk? Because I don't know what the fuck's up. So that's the fastest runner. How do I switch people? I oh, like that. Yeah, how do we keep warm in here? He's a good cook. It's useful. And Marco is a skill stabbing. Oh, he's slightly wounded. You should be doing the scavenging. Is this a scavenging pile? Yes. Take everything. Everything in the world. I said that this is just a random house. So I need to be using Marco to scavenge. What was that? Alright, um, so we've got food stuff. If there's a kitchen, so I can send Bruno? Was it Bruno? Oh, electrical parts, that symbol is. Yeah, Bruno to cook things. And Pavley. Is that is that Pavel, but you spell it L-E like that, and I'm going to think it's Pavley. So I have to get him to, I don't know what the speed's going to be good for, other than escaping bad situations, but it's probably not going to help the others to just have him escape. <laughs> Let's get Pavel up doing something. I wonder if cooking takes a little while as well. Right, you can pick through the rubble, because I bet there's something good in there. That's why we've bothered with putting this in. I can make my way through this part. You can and will. Bruno, you're going to be trying to cook something for us. I'm not sure what. Sweets, that looks like. Oh, it doesn't take long. Too bad it isn't cooked. Right, Marco, you can carry on looking for shit. I've right, been in there. There's more downstairs. Do I just stay in this house? If we're supposed to leave, I'm wasting our time. Oh, look, it says end day. You are just looking after the house. So what can I... Ah, oh, I can get things to make life slightly better. Crude stove, that seems worthwhile. Not as worthwhile as water. Let's make that. Let's put it somewhere that's more secure. That's where the stove's going to go. Is that my only options? Right, let's put it there. Right, so that can be doing... Marco's the leader now, I've decided. So there's only one chair, so they must all get tired and stuff like that. You need to have somewhere for them to rest for a bit. Hopefully there's keys in this top room. Simple barricades. Alright. Dismantle that. I wonder if we can move, if we have the option to look into new places for stuff. Or if we can go out for the day or whatever and look for things. 
Lockpick. Beautiful. I want to get into the basement more than I want to get into the attic. For some reason. I just feel like it might be more useful. So let's pick this. Ah, look. There's bits outside as well. Bring really clear out that rubble there. I'm gonna send Marco out into the garden. Ah, materials, perfect. So now I can make a stove. So I need to make a stove. I need food. Oh, it's gone straight into the night. Oh, so I can I can move around. Oh, is it worth going anywhere yet? Sleep, sleep, scavenge. So he can go and scavenge. Or can I, I can choose what everyone does. I would rather send the scavenger to scavenge. I feel like the reason why you have a fast runner is because when you're outside of the shelter you're going to get attacked. Obviously, otherwise there'd be no conflict. You must get attacked by some things. Alright, let's go to the near place. Alright, let's have them both sleep. And then send the scavenger to scavenge. I think there's probably going to be nothing there. It's the first, first one of the game. Use a game logic for this, not reality logic. If this was real life, you'd just assume everywhere was dangerous as fuck. Alright, so I have to be picky about what I take. Right, all of that seems extra useful. Oh, there's a lot of things to take. Certainly brought a choice to a previous owner. I wonder if I can return that to someone. Let's get... Assuming I can just ditch stuff afterwards if I need to. Free. There's no one there. Oh, what's that? Is that movement? Why is he just... He started running on his own. That was weird. There were like red circles. I thought that was somebody walking. Clean water. Vegetables. Right, we're taking all the food. Oh, broken toy. That's not a unique item. That comes up a lot by the look of it. Clean water. We'll take all of the clean water. Oh, that is... Look, there's red movement out there. There's someone in that room. Right, let's fill everything else up with... This stuff, and then get the heck out of there. So we don't have a weapon or anything. This game is intense from the get-go. Nobody's even said anything yet. There's been absolutely zero conflict, and I'm just terrified. Day two. Alright, he needs to rest tonight. I can build the stove now. Now he can cook. Consumables. Basic items. So I need to make fuel. Then, keep pressing the wrong button. No, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. I don't need to make sweets or whatever it is again. Basic food. Alright, let's give our one thing of soup to the person who went out all fucking night. He says he's hungry and tired and slept poorly. Well, he slept poorly but he's not hungry. So Bruno's the last person who needs foods. How's that items? Bed. I can make a bed. Alright. We'll put the beds in the basement and the attic. I feel like that's the sensible places to keep them. Because it's out of the way. Bruno, make more soup. Let's let Marco go and sleep. How will you can go and eat now? Then you can go and make another bed. Alright, let's 
build another bed. Right there. I've got rainwater working already, haven't I? Actually, let's go check that out. Ah, no one was actually making it. I thought someone was. Alright. So we've got the bed coming. I've got a trophy. I've got two beds. That makes it a hostel, apparently. Because I can have Bruno sleep while Pavel guards. Makes sense to me. So we made so I can upgrade that as well. Oh, it's night now already. So I I know that there's stuff at the sheltered cottage still. Shame you can't make more than one trip a night. But I know there's stuff there. But I think we need more like components, and I might find something new at the garage. So let's do that. All right, let's let them both sleep. Don't think I need to bring anything either. I would give him a weapon if it was an option. Hopefully there's no one here. Alright, woods. General components. I need like gears or something like that. No more hiding, we meet in heaven. Nice. Just very worried about being attacked. Because I can't really do. Oh, there's a person. It's maybe not the best idea to stick around here. I might just take what I can get and leave. Till we have got a weapon. Doesn't seem worthwhile. If you leave early, you should be able to go to second place. If you have time. Been radiated. Oh, you've been raided. <laughs> radiated. Why did I read that differently? Someone came at night to take our things by force. Shit. I didn't think that would happen so early. Bruno got slightly wounded. They stole sweets and water. Ah. So bad we had no weapons. Pam and Bruno were wounded by the attackers. Took a few things. We should put people on guard. That's what I'm going to start doing now. He's tired. And he's hungry. Everyone's hungry. Slightly wounded. Is that safe? Oh, I wish it would zoom in everything. Hungry, slightly sick, recovering. Does that say recovering as well from slightly wounded? No, you might as well stay asleep then. Alright. You may sleep. Bruno, you can cook. Sure, you can use to pry open a few doors before it breaks. It does the jobs just slowly and loudly. So I want to break into the few things that are here. So that would make sense. If I can break more than one thing open with it, let's do that. Alright, you can now go and cook, Bruno. And I'm going to have to get Marco up. Oh shit, there's someone at the door. I don't have any tools. There are three of us though. I'm not entirely sure how to attack. Have a look at what I've brought. Ah, I can trade with him. Weapon parts. He's got like coffee beans and herbal meds. He's not willing to do this. He won't do. Try harder. So jewellery and a toy isn't enough for just some meds. But he's happy to take the deal of me just giving him stuff for no reason. Alright, fine. I can live without the meds, hopefully. So I'm going to go for this. I'm going to get rid of the crap that I've got that I don't need. Jewellery and that's not very useful. All I can get is the weapons parts and the other just components. Um, which I haven't been finding enough of. I need more of. Can't really get any of the... Good stuff. I can have the coffee for almost nothing. I can add on one coffee for a free deal. Okay. Alright, so uh Fuck off now. Can I just stand by my door, you weirdo? 
now builds a knife. Only one, though. Is that medicine? Thank fuck. See, I don't know whether better scavenging just means that he can carry more or that he gets better items. More herbs and a lockpick. That's good. Who's that? Lockpick will be better to take with us somewhere. Okay, so this is where we go. It's the last thing. I think I'm going to end it here. I think I've done plenty to get a good feel of the game. Um, I like survival games. I like them as a concept in general. Um, this is a good. This is a good survival game. This is interesting. Um, and you do really feel like it is survival. Like you are struggling constantly. Um, again, much like Swindle, though, I feel like it's a little bit repetitive in what you can do during the day. Um, going out at the night is sort of the main bit, and it feels like, why can't you go out during the day if you want to take that risk? Mm, but, you know, um, I suppose that's just how these kind of things typically work, so that you can't just rush ahead. But it's so hard to do anything if you can't go out and actually try to find things. And um, yay, healing items. Still no food. Finish ransacking. I have. I've done everything in the house, I believe. What I can do now is build things. Um, I think it's really interesting concept. I think it looks really nice. I think the way that it plays is quite simple. I do keep getting confused every time there are two things side by side. I keep pressing square when I want to press the one on the right and circle if I want to press the one on the left which do different things so <laughs> I don't need to press those um, but just the way that it looks like that but that's just me being stupid to be honest. Uh, it's yeah I, I don't know I don't know what else to say about it. It's not super complicated it's just like very worrying and uncomfortable how difficult it is to do everything in it which is realistic it is a survival game and it makes sense um but yeah i'm going to give this a seven. Oh yeah much like the swindle um i feel like there could be more to do that you could do to help yourself because as much as you need the components to do everything I feel like there should be some you should be able to go out and just do a thing you should be able to go out and scavenge during the day I feel like is missing from this um, but I think it looks nice I think it plays well I think it's good and it's a very good survival game um, it's really good yeah no not much else to say about it other than it's good it looks nice. I'd like to see how it develops. I'd like to see if you can get more people involved. If you can have more people living here. And you can have a massive team of people. Then you can have loads of people doing stuff during the day around the house. Cooking for everyone and trying to build more things. And then send several people out scavenging at night. I wonder if you send more than one person out at night. You can hit up more than one location. That's the thing I didn't think about until just a second. I wonder if you sent out two people. You could send them into different locations so that you could scavenge separately then you get more stuff so I don't really know where this is gonna go so it's kind of hard to judge that um, but yeah that's my thought we're going into the night already bloody hell because I've been talking through it um, that's it for this episode this is a good interesting game if you like survival games go and check it out goodbye <laughs>